in layman's terms to ask yourself, we have incurred a debt, are we capable of paying it mm -hmm. from our income, from our exports, and from our taxes? Yeah. The fact is that there are certain indicators that are used to measure whether debt is sustainable or not. One of them is just the one you've mentioned, that is debt out of the GDP ratio, which is about 50% now. The IMF and the World Bank, and in indeed our own people who look into these things are saying it's about where it should not go higher than that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to go further down and look at what it is costing us in exports, i.e. in foreign exchange, what it is costing us when it comes to taxation, and I think this is why we have serious issues to discuss as Kenyans. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, Kwame, you, you agree that um, perhaps this is not as bad as it looks, or is it worse than it looks? Uh, no. I think, uh, as Professor said, yes, uh, uh, the number alone doesn't tell you much. Mm -hmm. But if you cut it as a share of GDP, it's about 52, 53. Yeah. Um, but that's not really the problem. I think up to and until about three years ago, it had come down right up to about 44, 45. So the pace of its growth over the last three years is, I think, it's is a question to concern us. Yes, yeah. because it's, it's, it's been growing uh, fairly quickly. Uh, I'm also concerned because if you look at the cost of that debt in terms of this year, we are spending 2.25 trillion. 397 billion shillings is being used to redeem debt. Yeah. And another debt roll over 170 billion shillings. So basically all you're saying is um, if you talked about it as a single thing, debt payment would be bigger than many ministries put together. I think that's, that's one thing to, to, to consider doesn't tell you much. All right. Our debt repayment and, and that's, uh, it's mm -hmm. also something that's a concern here um, with respect to the growth of the economy. Um, how manageable is this? Uh, you, you've just heard the numbers from Kwame. How manageable is it for us to be able to both service our debts and grow an economy to be able to service our debts efficiently? Well, there are a couple of factors that I think we need to understand when we're talking about this. I think one of the problems that I'm having is that, yes, debt itself is not the problem. But when you look at how government is spending that money, you begin to get worried. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at our recurrent expenditure, um, it, is far, it far outweighs um, our development financing. Yeah. Now, if you look at it, 2013, 2014, our recurrent spendit expenditure was 78%. Um, last year, it's going to be between 63 to 68%. This year, government is hoping to get recurrent expenditure down to 52%. Economically productive, yeah. allow the economy to turn over uh, at a much more effective rate. Government can raise the revenue, etc., and get the and, and get the payments back. Um, but but the problem is that because we have that structural spending problem, one wonders the extent to which all this debt mm -hmm. is going into the right economically productive activities that we can then use to, to pay back the debt. And a lot of things are being pointed at as being responsible for the debt, we're in, the, the, the debt crisis we're in and the fact that we're paying for a lot of things that perhaps we should, we're should we overpaying, rather. Uh, for instance, uh, the wage bill. That's, that's a big talking point um, in economic circles and now political circles. 1.66 billion shillings going to the TSC alone and the numbers speak for themselves there. But is that the only issue that we should be discussing here, that the wage bill is too high, we need to trim it, and then we'll be fine? 